Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper, and we have our absolutely disgusting grotty office here that we are now living in. I'm disappointed with this, I'd really like to be able to improve the quality of our office, because quite frankly this place is absolutely disgusting, look at this. Who would have this as their office? I mean seriously, if you were going to be spending any time here, you'd want to tidy it up a little bit, this, this is just grim. Nasty. Good work takes hard work. Right. Let's go over. Uh, yeah, well, we can clean the laptop. Let's let's just use the laptop rather than worrying about cleaning it. So mail, we don't have anything. We just got... Oh, the archive is empty as well. I've got no messages at all anymore. Uh, browser. So we got the Bungalow 01E. We had a go at this one last time, didn't we? House Puzzle Attic. We definitely not. That one there, 01H Dirty. I'm pretty sure we've done that one. This one here, £124,152.66. Let's buy that one. And we'll see what this house is all about. So the Puzzle House. This does concern me that it's called the Puzzle House. I'm puzzled as to why it's a Puzzle House. This, this is um, worrying because of all the, the different possibilities that may happen. It does seem quite big. There's a big old garage right there. We've got, uh, well, we've got trash out here that we can get rid of. There we go, get rid of that. A bit of rubbish there, some more rubbish here. Get rid of those bits. Let's take a wander around the outside of the puzzle house and see what we can find. Um, it's quite big. It's quite tall. It's quite clean around the back though, I will give it that. Now, whether we've actually got to do cleaning on the outside, I'm not quite sure. But let's run down over here. Uh, we'll go back in through the front door. And we'll look in here. So we've got some cleaning that we can do outside, and then we come indoors. Right, so we've got one room here. Uh, there's a kitchen here. No, the kitchen could probably stay put. And then a bit of trash there on the floor. We'll get rid of the trash. As we go along, we'll get rid of all the trash. Come into this next one. And this room here is a little tiny room with nothing in it although we may be able to turn that one into a bathroom that one I think is a bathroom it looked like it got a shower and stuff we got a living room in here and there's nothing actually wrong with this living room there's those pictures on the walls we've got some furniture it could do with a bit of a clean and a polish a bit of a spit shine but generally speaking is all right then we've got another big room in the back here there's a second living room back here and this one actually looks really quite nice it's quite a swish sort of place uh, there's a, a door that opens directly outside without any kind of doormat either. That is a little bit unusual, but I mean, you know, we, we can live with it. We've got a bit of rubbish in here, in the garage in here. Um, generally speaking, it's looking pretty good. It's, it's quite clean and tidy. There's been some damage done here. I, I, I don't know, I was going to say a flood, but it, it, it's not damaged everything. There's just some of it that has been flooded. So there's that one there, and then we can come in through this door, and this brings us back in downstairs. So that is the downstairs area. Come over this way. Is there anything? No, there's nothing. So there's no basement in this one. So let us go upstairs. And in this room, we have... This is a very, very small room. It seems unusual to have such a small room up here. Storage room, obviously. Uh, oh, I see. There's the other room over there. And this room here... This one looks quite nice. This one does. Although I'm concerned by the amount of what is quite likely blood. It's dried, so it's gone dark. Blood stains on the mattress. Blood spatter all over the floor. Uh, okay. So it looks like we've had a murder in the house. There's more spatter here. We've got some, we got some work that needs doing on some of the walls here. That, that's fine. We can deal with that. And then we can move into this room here. We've got another ba uh, upstairs bathroom here. This one's actually looking quite nice. Okay. So this is the mystery house. I don't know why it's a puzzle. I'm guessing the puzzle is the fact that we've got blood spatter all over the floor. Um, blood, blood spatter is never good. Let's see if we can clean up the blood. There we go. Nice and clean. All polished. No more blood. Bed is clean as well. We're very good at this job. There was actually a film, I think I may have mentioned it even, it may have been as little as last week, but there is definitely a film about a guy that cleans up crime scenes, and it's, it's a very cool film. It is It is a very cool film, although if you're under 18, I would recommend that you uh, seek the advice of an adult before watching said film, because um, you, you may not be allowed to. I, I may get you into trouble, so please don't watch it and then say, oh, Frith told me to, because I'm telling you not to if you are under the age of 18. 
Uh, right, well, I've apparently got some cleaning still to do here, but there is no cleaning. Is it on the window? It seems to be on the window. Is it on here? There's there's bits. Maybe it's on the bed. Nope. Nope, it's, it's right there. It's this chair. I think it is actually this chair, but the chair doesn't want to clean. I think we need to get rid of this table. Let's sell that one. Sell the chair and sell the table. And then I can go back to cleaning. Right, I've got a spot of dirt there. If I if I look up onto the ceiling, nope, it's not there. Um, it really isn't showing up anywhere. There is definitely some dirt here, but it's not showing up. And there's more over this side, which I think is on the back of this one here, this, this chest of drawers. Again, it's not showing up. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It's not under the bed. Okay, so we've done that bedroom. I'm, uh, that's as clean as we're going to get it, I think carpet here. Well, actually, there's nothing on this carpet. If I look down through, we do have some dirt here, whether that is up on the ceiling up there. No, it's it's that way. Uh, I reckon it might be around the banister then. Is it around the banister? It seems to be anything in this room. There's a bit around the window. I've just cleaned that. That's gone. Let me do in this room in here. Maybe that will help the situation. I've got a bit more there. That one, that room is done. It's clean. It's tidy. So this one here, I've got... Ah, I think I know. There's... Ooh, what's that? There's a light bulb there. Is that... Well, I'm not really sure. Right, so it does look like there was a light bulb there. If I... Ah, right. No, it was on the stairs. That's what it was. It was showing up the stuff that was on the stairs, and that's that's why it was uh, being a little bit peculiar. So we're coming to here. Uh, we'll clean this room here. I've got still got stuff to clean upstairs. I'm aware of that. I haven't finished up there yet I've, i do have a little bit more to do up there and we've got a bit there is on top of that dresser there okay that's good and we come into the garage clean the floor in here there's a bit over in this corner yeah as we stain in the corner there and around the actual garage door as well just above the door mostly there we go yeah there's there's patches above the door in a lot of places along here that actually i think some of that is outside it does look like there is a, a significant quantity of that outside in this corner. So if I open up that door a minute, that's going to take a while to open. So I'll go into the kitchen. I don't actually need to open that door, but um, I, I will anyway. There we go. Let's clean all of this. We clean around here. And cleaning around the fridge. No, there's more on the floor. It looks like we got more of this spatter all over the floor. I reckon that somebody was murdered in this house. I think that's what it was. I think there was... A murder in here and this is a murder mystery house that's what this house that's why it's a puzzle house because it's not actually a puzzle it's a murder mystery it's dark and sinister and mysterious oh there was a bit there was a bit to clean and uh, there's there's several bits around here to clean we got all around there and what's going on here with this wall am I gonna need to do anything to that wall don't I don't know I might do We've got bits around this door here. Yeah, there we go. It's like big damp bit, um, patches and that up around there. Just come in around this way. We'll do a run around the house and we'll just make sure. Right, so there's a bit here. Looks like. I've got that. That's cleaned off. And we come around this side. Uh, there's a bit right there. i got that around that, well, that window. Uh, over here. Nope, nothing there. No more. It is all clean. Okay, well, we're all good in here. So let me just close this door a minute. Is it closing? Yep, that's closing. And, right, that room is done. This room here, ah, there we go. There's the real, there's the real problem. That mat, that, that rug on the floor, I think we're going to have to get rid of that one. We can, we can get rid of that. That's, that's all clean. Right, so everything else is clean down here. I think that rug needs to be do, uh, something done with. And most of this house, I think, is all right. We just want to do some painting for the most part. Uh, there is a few little bits that we want to deal with. Uh, that room is done. Uh, that room is done. Done everything down here. I want to go into this room. We've got the baby's room to do. So, yeah, most of the house is now done. We've got plaster work and he's doing in here. Painting is going to be the biggest problem. That is going to be the biggest task in his house, is painting it. And this end, I think that most of that dirt is outside. Although, cleaning along the, the wall here does actually seem to be making a difference. So, maybe I'm cleaning it all the way out. There we go. Let's clean that, and then there's bits on the floor there. Stuff around the bath and around that sink. Clean! Okay, now we have actually done all of the cleaning. Looking around there, yes. Cleaning is all done. 
So what do I do with this room? Do I leave this room as a storage room? I'm not sure. We've got a double bedroom in here. And then if you come down the hallway here, you've got a kid's bedroom here. There's a cot there. But there is no more. So I'm really thinking that this room here, we don't want storage in here. We'll turn this into another bedroom. So if we have um, just a kid's bed in here, just one kid's bed, I think. We've got a bathroom there. We've got a... This room is fine. We can leave this room as it is. The kitchen could do with a bit of work. Again, I think we're probably all right. We might try and get a high chair, but um, for the most part, I think it's just paint that we want in there. This room here is going to have a fair bit of work that needs doing to it. Uh, we've got to put sinks and stuff like that in. And this one in here, let's get rid of that. That is really disgusting. And again, I don't think this one's too bad. We want to put a TV on the wall in here because they do like TVs. Right, we'll do that. So let's put a... a t no, first of all, we want to paint. So this room here, we're going to go for the light colours this time because we haven't done light colours for a while. And the the families, they tend to prefer the, the, the plainer, more neutral colours. So we'll go for a light lemon in here. I think that is going to be a good colour for... Actually, we'll probably use light lemon in a number of the rooms. I think it would be a good idea if we were to do that. Now, what's going on here? Why is it... Why is it painting? S what? Why are you not even? Why are you not? Seriously? It said mystery house, the puzzle house. That is, well, that's just ridiculous. Are you really not going to let me paint? This puzzle house is not going to let me paint. Let me go out here. Right, I can paint that room. Can't paint anything there. I can paint this room here. That's fine. And that one. This one here, it's not letting me paint the outside wall. Now, why are you not letting me paint? Well, it's not letting me paint any room, any walls at all in this room. This room is not having it. Okay, so I'd, we, we'll, we'll leave that. It's okay. We'll leave it. It's just one of the mysteries of the house. So we'll take this paint and we'll bring it out here. And we'll consider that room to be done. We're not going back in there. That's, 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 our, that's our private shame, that room. That, that room is our absolute private shame. This seems fine here. There's nothing here at all that is any problem whatsoever. So this one here works. All the way along there. I wonder if there's going to be any more unusual rooms that don't paint properly. Does seem a little bit odd that it's there was obviously something a little bit amiss with the, the I'm assuming it would be the game itself a bug and it's not something to do with the fact that it's a puzzle house or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to make the assumption that it is something to do with an actual game bug rather than anything else. It would make sense. Now the one thing that I'm not keen on is that we can't paint that wall there, but we should. Can we paint? No, we can't paint that wall either. But we have encountered this previously when we've had other houses with the stairs in them like that. We've not been able to paint them. It's a little bit odd, but generally speaking, it's not like the end of the world. It's, it's not going to make a huge difference to it. I like this color. This yellow in here is actually quite a nice warm color, and it is making it look quite nice. We'll bring that down through there and climb over that paint. There we go. So, yeah, you can paint up by the stairs. That works just fine. Like this. All the way down. Oh, we've run out of paint. Get a bit more there like that. Now, have I got one more that I want to paint up there? Nope. No. No, definitely not. Okay, we'll carry on along here. We'll do upstairs in a little bit. Because we're going to do that the same colour. We're going to do the landing the same colour all the way round on all of it. And bring that through there. Oh, I've run out of paint again. I'm going to have to get another uh, tin of paint at this rate. We're using up quite a lot. All the way around there. And that's the last bit. Okay, so that room is finished. We're not going to do anything else to this room. We're going to leave it exactly as it is. And we're going to say job done. So let me take this. Actually, let me pick that one up. Uh, I'll do it like that. Pick you up. There we go. I'll get it eventually. And we'll put you down there. And then we'll go back to the painting. And we're going to paint this room as well. So we've got a light bulb down there on the floor. I'm not really sure what that one's all about. We'll just leave that one there. Completely ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. 
all the way down. Through. Uh, that is a lot of paint with that roller. That is seriously impressive. Right, I, have, I knew I'd eventually run out, but I'm quite surprised at just how much it did then. That was quite good. Right, we get that bit up there. And then we come in through here. So this room is painting just fine. We're not having any problems here. That master bedroom there, I'm wondering if that one's going to cause us some issues as well, because that one is directly above the one downstairs that was causing the problems. So we'll see about that in just a minute. All the way through there and paint those. And right, there's those. I need to go to that one and dispose of that. Then I will put a tin of paint down here. We're going to go light lemon. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to paint the master bedroom the same light lemon as I'm doing out there. Right, round the window works. There, that works. And that one does. Okay, this is good. This is very, very promising that we're able to do all of this. There we go. I should probably bring that tin of paint in with me, to be honest. There we go. Fill that one up like that. And then go like that. Pick that one up. We bring it in here. And then we carry on painting. Okay. Um, so, yes, if we paint this room here, we'll do the small bedroom, the small kids' bedroom. That's going to be a different colour. I'm not sure what colour. Um, I don't really want to do pink or blue because that seems a little bit of a tired cliche, really, the whole pink-blue um, girl-boy thing. And we don't even know if the, the parents have got a girl or a boy anyway, not that it really matters. So I'm thinking something else, but a bright colour. I think a bright colour would be good for a little baby's room. Uh, quite sure what bright colour. So we'll think of a bright colour to do in there. And then we've got another kid's bedroom as well that we're going to do. And that one I'm thinking... Again, we'll do a bright colour. We won't do the same bright colour as we do in the first little kid's bedroom. We'll do a different bright colour. But it will be a bright colour. Then downstairs... Oh, no, we've got a bathroom up here. We want to paint white. I'll uh, keep doing the bathrooms white. Uh, I see no reason not to do that. Uh, uh, yeah, downstairs, then we've got a bathroom to make. We've got the kitchen to do. The kitchen we will do with this colour here. So we're going to end up doing most of the house is going to be this colour here. Um, but then we'll do the odd room will be different. So we've got the the kitchen. Um, no, we, we've got the, the two kids' bedrooms. They're, they're both going to be different colours. Um, and different from each other as well. They're, they're going to be completely different. So we'll drop that one down there. That bedroom is done. This one in here... Uh, right, we can't change the floor. There's one thing we can't do. Is we I could Actually, I know, I can put wooden flooring down, can't I? It's the only thing that I can do, though, is I can put wooden flooring. We've got floor tiles, and then... No, we got wall tiles and wall panels. But I'm not able to do wooden flooring of any kind yet. Doors, electronics, desk. Right, let's go to bed. And we've got a cot. I don't want a cot. I want a small child's bed. I can do a bed with a desk... A bunk bed with a desk underneath. Could do that. Um... I'm going to rotate that one round and put that one there. So I could actually, we can put that one in there. That one does fit quite nicely in here. And then we could put some small, we want to put some small cupboards in here of some kind. Where have we got? Cupboard, um, cabinet, I don't really want that. We could go for a simple cabinet. What else have we got? The office bookshelf, no, let's just go with a chest of drawers. Double chest. What about that? If I do that one, I could put that one there. Like that. So there's enough room to get beside it. So there is some cupboard space in here. And maybe we could also do something like um, something on the wall. We've got pictures and paintings, sconces. I think it comes under other for that one here. Well, we've got books, stuff like that. Kids box bridge. There, yeah, we're going to go for shelving. And I will do... Actually, let's do green. We'll put that one there. And then we'll do another one, exactly the same. And we'll put that one right next to it. Actually, no, we won't. We'll put that one there, sort of underneath it. And then the kids have got something to put on the walls. Right. And then we're going to go... So we want paint. We want to be able to paint it. Uh, no, there was something else that I was thinking of putting in. I can't remember what it is now. Uh, kids box... Purple Pyramid. What's this? 
Is that it? All right, let's put that one there. There we go. Decoration. Look at that. We got decoration in here. This looks wicked. Uh, no, it was paint. It was paint I was thinking of. Um, paints right there. So, pistachio green. Let's go with this. <laughs> okay. This is a, a fairly hideous looking color. But hopefully the kids will like it. This is what I'm hoping is that this is all for the kids. Wow. Pistachio green is very, very green. That is a very, very green color. How does it look behind these shelves? That's the next question. How is it going to look? Okay, that looks actually kind of weird. I don't like the floor in here. I don't like the floor at all. I'm thinking that we ought to at least put a rug down or something. It's a shame that they have... I imagine that they would eventually do flooring. I'd like to be able to... You know, just put some carpet down. That's what we want. We want carpets. When are we going to have carpets? Please, Mr. Developer, we want carpets. That's what we want in this game. Uh, let me get the last of this. There we go. I won't do any more this color green. It's just going to be this room that's going to be this color green because the other kid's bedroom is going to be a different one. Um, nope, I wouldn't do that. Get rid of you. Right, now, we want... Uh, there, there is rugs, isn't there? Oh, mats, or what do you call it? Um, car oh, it is carpets. But it's not actual proper carpet. It's just... It's not like floor carpet. So we got another gr carpet grass. Let's go with that. There we go. See, it's not a full carpet. It just does like a patch on the floor. It's not a proper wall-to-wall -wall carpet. And that is something that I really don't like so far about this game. It's something I'm hoping is going to be changed in the future. So that we can put proper carpets down all over the place. Because that's as much as I can do. I can't put another one that overlaps or anything like that. That's it. So we'll just get rid of that. Okay, so we got another bedroom done. That one's done. There's, there's the kid's bedroom done. Uh, we're coming to this kid's bedroom here. This one is already done. Uh, one thing I do need in here is I'm going to need some plaster, which is that one. We'll buy a bucket of plaster and we'll dump that down there. And then you press E and you use it. And then we go like that. And then we go clean. And that plasters that all over there. So the living room on this property is a bit of a disappointment. But the rest of it seems to be working out all right at the moment. So we got that kid's bedroom... What? Oh, I've got another piece down there to do. Just grab that. There we go. And we'll put that onto there. I think there may be some of this that we can do outside as well around the porch, although I'm not quite sure about that. So let's see. Uh, I'll get rid of that. You can go. And then we will go back to paint. And we'll see what color. I'm thinking that purple. That purple would be very cool. Maybe a lighter purple. Let's go for a light purple. We haven't done light purple, I don't think. Be better than a dark purple. So put that one on there. And let's go around the window first. Ooh. Look that bright colour. There we go. There we go. This is going to be perfect for a kid's bedroom. Kids will love it. They will absolutely love it. Either that or they'll be bullied horribly in school because um, the, every, every be, all the other kids will think that they're completely colourblind. Um, but this is a baby's bedroom, so the, the bullying in school is probably not going to happen for a few years yet. So probably they're probably going to be okay, at least for the moment. We'll run that through there like that. Very carefully. There we go. Keep going. Keep going all the way around. We've got the Smot family on the list over there uh, on the left-hand side. They seem to be the happiest with it so far. They're at the top of the list. They're most likely going to be the ones that end up buying this property. Looking through there like that. And oop, I've run out of paint again. I hope that we've got enough paint to be able to finish this room. We should have. I don't see... Yeah, well, there's absolutely no reason to think why not. Uh, the t there's absolutely no reason to think that we won't, I should say. So we come through there. There we go. And we've got a little bit more to do around this window. We've got the bit along the top. Actually, that's it. That's all we've got to do around that window. Right over there into the corner. All the way through. There we go. And one last lot of paint. Should be enough to finish this one off. That through there like that. And along the bottom. There we go. Right, so there is another... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. We've got to finish this job properly. There we go. And seriously? That one tiny little bit there needed one more. There we go. I think that's everything. Let's just check over this side. Yes, that is everything. Uh, oh, I can paint the top of a wall there. I'm going to do that. I don't know what it's going to do, but uh, we've painted the top of the wall. I want to go to there, and I want to sell 
You. Right. That room is done. See, this room has got carpet all over the floor. It's carpet all the way through. So why can't we actually change and put new carpets in? That's something that I would like to do. Uh, we now want more paint. And this time we're going to go for white. So let's get rid of that. Scroll all the way down. There, buy a tin of white paint. And I'm going to drop that one right there. And then come through here. There's... Yeah, what is going on with that light? Pretty sure what that one is there for. Oh, I see. Stuck on the wall. Right. It's just done slightly wrong. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. That toilet looks a bit grubby. It'll be fine. Let's not worry about the toilet. The the new family moving in, they, they can they can clean and polish the toilet to their heart's content. They'll be absolutely delighted with it. But yeah, I've, the tiles in here are all right, but they do look a little bit grotty. So if we paint the entire bathroom um, snow white, it, it'll be a lot better. Um, get that there. We don't have any window in this room. And I'll bring that one all the way over there. Come around over the top. It looks a bit uneven there in places, doesn't it? Let's take that and keep coming all the way over here. This room is not going to take very long at all. And we've got another bathroom to do downstairs, which we will paint with white and we will tile the floor. And then we've got to install all of the other bits. What is that there? Uh, don't actually know. Anyway, that room is done. That's, that's all that matters. We finish this room. We've got a bit more painting to do up here still. We'll come back to that. I'm going to bring this down here and uh, drop that tin of paint right there like that. And then we'll go into here and we'll take the paintbrush. There we go. So this is going to be the next um, bathroom. And it looks like it needs to have a shower on one side here. Because you can see it looks, well, yeah, it looks like that's got to be a shower there. But it... I'm sort of I'm going on the plan on the mini map in the top right hand corner. It's the only clue that we've really got as to what should be in here. The, the floor is fine as it is. We don't need to worry about the floor. So I don't want any more of you. You can go and I go back to this one. Right. So I've got that there. What is this? Is this the shower? I don't know. I'm looking at it. I can't really. Yes. Oh, that's the shower in that corner. So this corner over here. What are you? That's, oh, toilet there, sink there. Right. So this is a sink, which we need to put in. And then we also want to put in the um, the toilet and shower. So we'll put the sink in here a minute. I want to go like that. And I want to go up there to bathroom. So we've got a mountable bathtub, mountable bathtub, oval, sink, uh, toilet, 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 sink, cabinet, sink, cabinet, sink two. We'll go with that cabinet sink right there, I think. Yes, that would be a good one in here gonna go there oh no I don't want to do that there we go that's what I wanted to do okay do that one up and I'll put that one on there like that it's just easier if I do them all at once and then I can put that one in oh gotta put that one up on the top as well okay we put that one in there do that one up and then we can reach up and we can put that one on to there and then we can put on all of the inserts and the plugs and the various water traps and stuff like that as well. There we go. Put that one onto the bottom and do that one up there. Should be everything done. Right, so we've done that first bit. Next, uh, well, we'll put the shower in next, I think. So we go there and come out of that one. And then we got that. It's the only one that we've got, isn't it? Yeah, mountable shower. So we want to put that one in. That one goes there like that. And then you press E. Right, so then you've got to set the feet first on the bottom of the tray. And then once you set the feet into position, then you can put the tray, uh, flip the tray over and put it the right way up. There we go, like that. Uh, we need to put the trap in, so the, where the water comes out, and then you put the plug in as well. So that then the water's got somewhere that it can drain away from the shower. And we join in the insert there, and you should put the hose from there. That goes in. Perfect. Sometimes you actually you sink that down into the floor. If it's on it, well, it doesn't matter if it's a ground floor or upstairs. You sometimes you put that level of the floor, and then this drain everything goes down into the floor. Some shower runoffs are actually equipped with an electric pump, and when the shower is running, that pump is running as well, and that pumps the water away. But this one looks like it's a gravity system, so we're just going to put that one in there. We want to do that up. Got to put the um, 
put those in there for the taps so that the pipes for the taps they can go on there and we can do them up nice and tight there we go right so we got that bit on there what am i doing next putting all of these oh yeah we got to put the the bits for the doors on they got to go in we do that one up and we do that one up as well and there's a piece on the top well there will be a piece on the top in a minute we've got to put this door on first there we go and the doorknob beautiful glass in there we can put that one in there do these up one there and one on that side as well and we can put another door on put the insert on all of this usually comes as a kit you just, you just all all you're doing when you, if you're putting this stuff together as a plumber all you're doing is just like slotting the kit together it's not actually that complicated i mean there are some bits that are a little bit more tricky than others um predominantly though what you're getting paid for is knowing how to put it together quickly and efficiently that's quite a, a big bonus um and also having the tools as well because there are some specialist tools that you need to be able to do this job and not everybody has those specialist tools and that is one of the big things that you're being paid for when you're installing it so there you go we've just installed that ourselves we didn't have to pay a plumber which is an absolute enormous wonderful bonus as far as i'm concerned so we've got this tiny pokey little room let's see if we can stuff a toilet in here as well shall we there we go we're gonna stuff a toilet in there put that one on we haven't used one of these toilets yet so we'll put that one in there and that one over on there and then we've got the tiniest cistern i've ever seen on there and job done right so there's the bathroom that is the downstairs bathroom done we've not done the kitchen and the living room here is a little bit strange. Although I do want to put a TV on the wall still. Even though this room is very peculiar. I still want to put a TV on the wall. We've got a hanging TV right there by now. And it's black for some strange reason. I remember now that one went a very... It, it, it was a very peculiar colour, wasn't it? This room here... This looks like your grandmother's parlour. This, this, this is definitely your grandmother's receiving parlour, the receiving room, you know, where, where um, special guests go. And then you have your normal living room where your day-to-day -day guests go and you know, where you live. But this, this is the receiving room where you, you receive your special guests. Parlours like this, don't re you don't really get them anymore. Grandparents very likely would have a receiving room like that, but not very many of them. Ah, painted the top of that. Did I paint that wall from in there? You know, I'm thinking I may have done. Who knows? Let's go back up here and finish painting this room up here. We haven't got much to do left for painting this one, so we can take a little bit off of there. And we can come along this wall here like this. Just very slowly go along that bit so I don't miss any of it. All the way up there. And I don't think I got enough to do all that, so if I just grab another brush full of paint... Then we can finish those bits there. I've done around the window and I've done all of that. So all we got left is this piece along here. Get that bit. All the way over here. It's around these windows that seem to use up an awful lot of paint. And that's quite a wide window as well, this one is. The window looks like it's set out a little bit further than usual. Grab another load of paint there. Up under the inside and along the top. There we go. Right. That's looking better. It's looking much better. Have we got enough paint to finish this room up here? Not that it really matters because we're going to do the kitchen and the receiving room the same colour as this. Um, bring that up through there. And the receiving room, I may just add in like some office space in there just, just to add in a little bit extra. So this room up here is done. I go there so that I can pick that tin of paint up. We've, we've, actually, everything upstairs is now done. We've got a bedroom in there. We've got a bedroom, and we've got a bedroom, and we've got a bathroom in there. All Everything that needs to be done in those rooms is done. The receiving room, we're going to go and paint this color. So we're going to put that one down there like that. And we're going to go for a brush. And that is all of the paint. So I need another tin of paint. So this wall here, at least, is able to be painted. Um, I mean, through like this. Right, see, there are some, um, some of those numbers are dropping on the side, and some of them are going up. I haven't really been able to pay much attention to them. Let's go and get some more paint. We want the same colour. We want the same light lemon, because I want to do most of it much the same. There we go, light lemon. By now, put you down there, and then you can be disposed of. Let's go on to that one. I reckon, yeah, so the, the grandparent, yeah, see, there are several people that like what we're doing. And then there are a few people there. We've got a desk here. Uh, that was one thing I wanted to make sure of. I wanted to make sure that we had a desk in at least one room. 
I might try and put some more shelves in this room so that there is some more storage. Because uh, there's one thing that's mentioned by quite a lot of people when they're looking at the houses is whether or not there are shelves. So, so long as we've got shelves in here somewhere, it should, again, push the price up a little bit more. Let's grab a bit more paint. Oh, no, a bit closer. There we go. Uh, get that there like that. And that one. Come back that way. And now, do the bit above the window. And then in underneath here. Go on. A little bit more so we can get around. It. Right. Okay. Now we've just got the easy bit. Just get in all of this around here. And actually, you know, I don't think we need more shelves. So after this, it's just the kitchen that we've got left. Once the kitchen is done, we are well on our way to being absolutely finished. And we should make ourselves an absolute fortune. Let me just finish painting this room a minute. There we go. Last little bit. This room, oh, this room actually looks an awful lot nicer now that we've done that. That has made a significant difference to it. So we'll take this tin of paint out here, all the way through, and I am just going to look in here. Let's, let's just make absolutely certain that there are no surfaces in this room that we're able to paint. Those are all sideways. Those are all the wrong way. Uh, oh, hang on. No, there is... Well, I don't know if there is a surface here. I, no, I don't think there is. I don't think I can actually paint any of these surfaces. I think that one is not the... the that's not the outside edge at all. Hang on. What about there? No, again, it's it's all wrong. Right, we'll leave. No, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that room. We're gonna leave that room alone. So let's take our tin of paint. I need to go like that. Take a tin of paint, and we want to go into the kitchen. It's gonna be the final room. So first of all, if I can pick up that chair, I can put that one in under the table like that, so it's out of the way. And see, I painted a bit in the other room. And it's actually come through and it's painted the kitchen. Unless that was the bit that I painted from upstairs where I painted the top of the wall. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. Oh, no, I did that different colour. Oh, I don't remember now. So I'll bring that one through there and we'll come round this window as well. I need some more paint. I don't really think we need to worry about doing anything else in this kitchen. I mean, the kitchen itself, the setup for it is not the nicest kitchen. But I don't think we need to worry about it too much. I think overall... It's going to be quite acceptable to any families that are moving in. Um, we've got two bathrooms in this house. And we've got three bedrooms. We've also got a receiving room or study, whatever you want to use it for. We've got that room there. So it's got the sofas and stuff in there. It looks really nice. You can take visitors in there and you can pretend to be posh. Or you can just use it as a study or a gaming room or something like that. Um, me... Very little point in me pretending to be posh with anybody because um, anybody that knows me um, realizes that it's it's just just a sham, a show, and it's not real. Uh, and then anybody that would actually possibly be fooled by it is unlikely to want to come to my. And anybody that would actually care about it, I should say, anybody that would actually care if I was posh or otherwise. Uh, probably isn't going to be coming to my house anyway. Uh, so I, I got no worries on that front. I got absolutely no, no concerns. So we're just finished doing this room here. And then we are going to sell it. We're not going to do anything else. This is all we're going to do. I think we've done enough. We've gone all the way through. We have painted. We have um, we've done some plastering. Oh, no, we will just have a look on the outside of the house and make sure that there is nothing that we want to do out there. Um, I've don't know if there was any plastering that we wanted to do around the very edge of the house. So we've done all of that. There we go. That's all finished. Let's go to there. Pick you up like that. And we go out the front door. So yeah, there's, there's no, nothing that we need to change out here. I can put the... Let's just put the paint down there. Right, it was that wall there. I didn't know if I needed to plaster it or not. But looking around, I don't really want to paint the whole of the outside of the house. It's going to be a long and tedious and dull job. So... There, clean. It says clean. I think we can plaster that wall there. In which case, we could paint it as well. We're going to want sky blue for that, aren't we? So let's get rid of that one. And then we'll come in here. First of all, we're going to go to plaster there. And we're going to take that. I'll buy that and I'll put it down there. And then I go to that one. And I load it up. And then we come over here. And is it going to work? Yes! We can actually paint. We can plaster this wall here. Okay, that's good. That's looking good. And then we get a bit more on here. There we go. And I'll do that as well. Plaster that bit. 
don't think there's anything else that we need to plaster. So then we will get some... Actually, I'll go to there and I'll get rid of that one, like that. And then we'll go there and we'll get some paint. This time we're going to want a blue paint to match the outside. So I think a light blue. I don't think it's any other color. Let's put that down there and then we can go to the paint and we can do that. So I can at least match this on in here. Let's see. Oh. Well, if you paint, it removes the whole wood effect, which is not really what I wanted to happen. So I'll just do this on the porch and I'm not going to do it anywhere else because I really, really don't want to have to go around and paint the entire house. It is just going to take too long. Uh, right, I've done all that in there. Go along this bit here. Paint over all of it. Beautiful. And this wall here as well. Oh, I need a bit more. Come out of there. And then go in along there like that. Now, this, is there one more piece in there? Oh, yeah, there is. I can reach it up there like that. Right, nailed it. Now, you can, or you can just see it above there, but uh, you know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm not doing any more painting than that. So we can go there, remove that, and then we can come to this one. And there is our house. We've got the, the whole mystery house. Now, I'm not quite sure. The puzzle house. This looks really good in here. This, this actually looks really fantastic. If we could keep the customers away from the living room... The rest of it would work beautifully. It would absolutely work beautifully. That is a really nice looking house. So let's press enter so that we can sell it. There we go. We bought it for 124,000. Uh, we've been working on this house for 40 minutes now. Okay, make auction. Can you hear the music and the TV? I don't. Uh, 147,000 is already gone well above. Four bedrooms. Perfect. So he wants four bedrooms. Now four people can rent this house at the same time. Double bed. That one's got... Jimmy T Jimmy Traitor bid, uh, bid like six pounds more than the last guy. Um, big bedrooms is next plus one for you. Three children have to sleep in one bedroom tightly. Uh, no, you've got two bedrooms upstairs and you can make another one downstairs as well. Johnson family, um, I, th I think they're just being picky. 161,000 there, 171. Uh, shelves for books, excellent. Babies love... 183, that's not bad. £59,000 profit. I'll accept that offer. That's not bad. So we, we made another 60 grand. Another £60,000. Um, I got the feeling, though, that we are not going to have any more houses available at the moment. No, uh, House Puzzle Attic 3. Was it 3? I think it was. Attic? There was no attic. Was there? I don't think there was. Right, anyway, we, we've, we've done enough here. So we've, um, we have at least done one more house. We'll see if there's any others available when we come back to it next week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.